So I love retro handhelds, but unfortunately when they get to a certain age, they stop working, things break, and of course the shells start getting scratches. So in this video, we're going to take a tired old PSP and bring it to life with an atomic purple shell and a much needed brand new LCD screen. So without further delay, let's dive in. So this PSP was sent to me by a good friend of mine, Panda. Don't worry Panda, it's in good hands and it's gone to a really good home. Now the PSP in question is a PSP 3000 and it's in that metallic blue colour. But it's not in great condition. But I knew that when I got it because I wanted to do an atomic purple shell swap. Now all the parts in this video were bought by myself with my own money and I put some links below so you can buy the shell or the screen but they're not affiliate links there's no kickback on me it's just me buying stuff that I'm passionate about and then giving you the links but what does help me make more videos is sponsors and this video is sponsored by Keysfan this video is sponsored by Keysfan and they've got some of the biggest savings I've ever seen on their Black Friday event. But they don't want you to wait to grab one of these amazing deals so you can take advantage of this amazing offer today. So you can finally make the jump to Windows 11 Pro giving you more performance, a redesigned interface and enhanced security features with a massive 52% off. And even more impressive, you can get Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus for 62% off. So let's jump on the Keysfan website and see what that actually means. So this Windows 11 Professional key is normally $29.99. So let's add it to our basket and use the code ARG52. As you can see, it's only $14.40 now. And that's only £11.11 11 if you're here with me in the UK. So with a deal this good, I treated myself to another Windows key for another computer. That's why it's blurred out because this is my actual receipt. And all I had to do was copy the activation key into Windows and it's now fully activated. Check out the description below for all the links and more details. And don't forget to use those discount codes. Massive thank you to Keysfan for sponsoring today's video. So I think it's about time we go to the top down camera and get this underway. Now as always this isn't a step by step video on how to install the shell or screen because there's loads of videos out there already. So we'll fast forward through the footage but I'll give you key information along the way and as soon as we've done it we'll take a look at how the project's turned out and how cool that atomic purple shell is. So let's do that now. So first of all, I thought I'd show you what the damage looks like on the screen. And as you can see here, it's like a black smudge line or something. I don't know how it happened, but we're going to fix that in this video. Now, as I said, this is the blue sort of metallic version PSP 3000. And it does look really good, but it does have a few marks. So this is everything that I bought. Now, first of all, we have that new LCD screen. Now, unfortunately, this isn't really an upgrade. It's not much different to the original screen. It's pretty much a direct replacement. And that's all you really get. You just get the screen. Now, this is a lot more interesting because this is going to change the whole look of the PSP. And this is the Atomic Purple Shell Kit. Now, you don't just get the front and back shell. As you can see, we've got replacement stickers, we've got buttons, etc., etc. Now, this looks absolutely fantastic. The color is amazing, and you get everything you need in the kit. But I didn't want to use those atomic purple buttons to go with it. So I actually ordered a set of just plain black buttons because I do think atomic purple looks really cool with black. So that's enough waffling. Let's speed through the install.
So I'm so impressed with how this came out. The PSP looks fantastic. And of course, I am a massive fan of Atomic Purple, so it's gonna look great in my collection. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that this PSP was already modified on custom firmware when I got it. So we got that adapter card and of course the micro SD card, and then I can put lots and lots of games on there. So that was already done. So I didn't have to worry about doing any of that. I just had to fit that shell and of course fit that screen. Now, the issue with the screen was a bit of a weird one. I've never seen it before. It had some kind of weird purple line in it. Then it got worse and it started going black. And that happened over the course of two to three weeks. So I've never seen that before. But of course, replacing the screen is cheap and easy to do. And it's definitely worthwhile keeping these older retro machines alive and kicking. So this project was easy and fun to do. And it only took me a couple of hours but let me know what you guys think in the comments below would you have changed anything would you have gone for a different color with the shell etc and is there any other modifications i can do to this psp that you guys can recommend in the comments below i'm jp you've been watching alien gaming and as always i'll catch you in the next one